July the 25th. Now, I haven't been around in a while, as you may have noticed, up on two weeks now. But the fact of the matter is, I have had, or I did make videos, but I wasn't in the right mind to be posting them. I hadn't the time to uh, follow up on comments, and I was just busy mentally and physically outside of the farm work. Now, what's been happening up to date is I've I've almost fallen out of love with my cattle. Now, well, that's not true either. They have given me a bit of a headache the last while for some reason or another. Well, I kind of have an idea, but I do know why it's happening. But what I was down to was two day moves. Because I was busy, I was giving them enough room for two days. I was giving them two days grass, but they were totally misbehaving and breaking out. When I'd come back after the second day, they would have pulled the wire and gone. They've done it now several times. Now, in fairness to them, they do come back in fairly handy. Well, they're starting to learn to be pushed now. I've always said that these cattle come to the whistle. They come to the call and they follow me around the farm, but because they've been getting out lately, they were a little bit um, bold. They weren't on for coming back into a place where they've just come out of. So I give them this area here. There's four corners, there's four fields. It's fenced well and lucky enough now, it's only been 24 hours and they have stayed in. So it's been a frustrating couple of weeks every uh, other day when I come back and they're gone up to that field there in the top they went to each time so lucky enough they came back in now yesterday but uh, it can be very annoying now what else is it uh, yes the reason for that is I had a bull here a couple of years ago a red and white short horn bull he is the father of all them wheelings you see here this lady that lady that lady he is the father of the first calf heifers that lady but what's happening is Belle um, Bjorg's daughter where else um, the black and white Frisian lad where is he there he is there that boy there and that bullock there have no respect for the fence and as calves they used to be what I call the renegade crew they used to go under the fence and head off down to where I had my bale left up this was during the winter time and they would be gone to the road, they would be everywhere. So that um, trait has been taken from the bull that I had that is the father of a lot of them animals in there. So uh, it's been very frustrating. So what I'm going to do is, and I haven't it done yet, as I say, they have manners today. Um, I'm going to change my wire here to... Uh, Holly braid I think it's called it's it's wire that I use that's the stuff I am using and what's happening is is when them them calves come through or them yearlings come through they're either knocking a post down or they're shoving another animal out through the fence the fence gets knocked and then the whole herd follows out the fence gets erted and there's no power in it so that is what's been happening and it's very frustrating and it's driving me mad um, lucky enough now they're under control now and they haven't brought under control fairly handy although I think in a video two ago um, they were very hard brought in but um, yeah that has been that's what's been happening to me the last couple of weeks so I'm going to change this to what they call poly braid but I know Greg Judy calls it poly braid that was the cheaper option but it's not that visible the other stuff is there's a bit of a stretch in it uh, it's thicker there's more wires in it um, so I'm going to change my spools and my reels to that stuff and <coughs> oh lord and uh, see will that make a difference because I have bred a gang of teething little shits for the want of a death that's them there now see one two three is that her yeah and the red lad there four they are definitely the culprits they're causing me a lot of bother. So let a little walk through now. I think all the bullying is over. I haven't noticed any cows come and bullying in, in a long time. As I, but I, I haven't been watching them as tight either. So um, 
I think the little Frisian lady down here that's going to go at some stage. She was the last one to be bullying. I noticed he was following her around. I didn't see any activity, but um, he was definitely following her around. So I believe she was coming a few days ago. And uh, I'm assuming he hasn't bullied. Anything I did see bullying has not come around secondly. So I'm happy enough with that. Uh, a little scan through. I was away at the weekend. Clare are the All Ireland champions for the fifth time. Um, I didn't get tickets to the match, but I went down home to watch it, or down to the west. So uh, that was my weekend. That's Pyog's daughter there, actually. She's the one that's breaking out the whole time as well. So I'm only after moving the drinker in. Uh, I left them in here last night. I didn't move the drinker immediately. You can notice they're a little bit thirsty. But the grass was wet. We had one good day this week, and the rest has been a little bit drizzly, although it's mild. It's very warm today, actually. So I'm going to walk on through here and see what grass I have. I haven't been doing much topping now either. As you can notice, there's briars and rushes along in there. Um, but there's a long year left yet and many more rotations to get me through the winter time so all them jobs i used to spend money on with the topper i'm going to do over the winter time as i'm moving the cattle and uh, bait all them down and feed my uh, my hay and silage up on top of them so uh, i've definitely eased up on the topper and we've lost the grass but as I say, they have been pushing on ahead of time and uh, breaking out and grazing the sweet picking on ahead of them. And it was driving me mad. But that's what they're coming on to. There's lovely green grass on up there. And we have the rest of this field and another big field. And then we're going to start the next rotation, which is down below. I have to go away for a few days next week, so I'm going to open up four acres, leave them in on it. It should do them for... A week anyhow and uh, yeah we'll get back to our daily moves again so that is the carry on on the 25th of July I haven't been around I'll try my best to keep posting but uh, when I get in bad humor I get uh, I go quiet I suppose so that's all the news for now I'll keep it short and sweet. I'll try and post again and uh, we'll talk very soon. So for now, I will say good luck and goodbye.